companies like United Health Group, the best of breed health maintenance organization and insurance provider that withdrew from the Obamacare exchanges. United Health, one of the largest health insurance carriers in the US, is now one of the world's biggest lucrative businesses. Is that healthy for the rest of us? The Mammoth Insurance Group is exponentially making its money from things that have nothing to do with health insurance. United Health is not just functioning as a health insurer, it extends its service as a doctor, outpatient surgery center, mail order pharmacy, and drug price negotiator. The Rise of United Health a rapid socio-economic revolution is happening in the American healthcare system. With increased competition, the number of investor-owned for-profit hospitals has increased by more than 50%, while the number of independent proprietary for-profit hospitals has decreased by half. United Health Group is the top-notch healthcare conglomerate in the US, even bigger than the nation's largest bank, JP Morgan Chase, in terms of market cap and revenue. United Health Group was initially known as Minnesota-based Charter Med when incorporated in 1974. Throughout its history, the company has been buying pieces from competing companies. United Healthcare and Optum are two of the most important branches of United Health. Optum comprises three separate sectors Optum RX, a mail order pharmacy, Optum Health, which operates health savings accounts, and Optum Insight, a payment processor for healthcare providers. They generate revenue from various sources, including premiums on risk-based products, fees from various services, sales on healthcare products, and services and investments. The market capitalization of UNH as of May 2023 is $447.67 billion, while that of Morgan Chase is $395.5 billion. The market revenue of United Health has ballooned in recent years, from $242 billion in 2019 to $324 billion in 2022. Basically, as an insurer, United Health Group lays hold over 147 million customers worldwide. Today, United Healthcare is more than just a health insurance company. Let's see how United Health Group has become bigger than the biggest American bank and its implications for the US economy. The Development Blueprint United Health has become the customer's best choice as it provides all healthcare services under one roof, which helps them beneficially navigate the healthcare system without searching for other organizations. There is United Healthcare to ensure health, United Health to render direct healthcare services from a doctor, Optum RX to refill and manage prescriptions, and Optum Pay Technology to assist in remitting medical bills. The number of people who have accessed United Insurance is estimated to be over 40 million, which only makes up 50% of their business. Optum, as they have titled the other half of their business, encompasses a series of service categories provided to their health insurance members as well as other people. The Optum Business Though the cash cow of United Health Group is as insurance premium, the Optum Wing functions as a rampant and agile secondary business that is more inclined to service than making money. Let's be explicit about the various subdivisions. Optum Health delivers direct care via local medical groups, consumer engagement, and health financial services. Optum Insights gives technical analysis solutions to various firms in the healthcare industry. Optum RX offers a full spectrum of pharmacy care services that make drugs more affordable to customers. United Health Group has recently reported a 5.6 billion first quarter profit from its insurance plans and Optum Group. The Optum Factor builds United Health's diversity aspect, making it an appealing and promising stock for investors. A synergetic association of the insurance wing and Optum became the founding stone of the rapid growth of United Health. Medical expenses are skyrocketing like never before, which drives the growth of healthcare plans and the subsequent potential gain. United Health has set a benchmark with its flawless growth strategy, which is now followed up by competitors in the same field. With the commencement of the Affordable Care Act that provided modest health insurance coverage for all Americans, along with the concerns of the medical loss ratio, the insurance company had to suffer a backlash in their profits. The insurers were forced to bilateral businesses to elevate their profit making so that they could circumnavigate the medical loss ratio. This was when United Health Group's Optum subsidiary elaborated on their pharmacy benefit manager. Meanwhile, many insurance companies decided to merge, and those mergers got tied up in antitrust. 
For instance, when Aitzner tried the acquisition of rival insurer Humana, the US District Court blocked it immediately, stating that merging would have stifled competition and would lead to lower quality health insurance at higher prices. The amalgamation of companies in the same service sector may lead to the dissatisfaction of customers. But what United Health has done is exemplary. They went for a vertical integration rather than associating with equivalent rivals. United Health built its empire by purchasing smaller companies and incorporating them into the Optum Services area, so it doesn't seem to tamper with antitrust regulations. The numerous deals carried out by United Health Group over the past decade managed to get through the antitrust regulators. United Health Chief Executive Andrew Whitty recently commented, Our strong enterprise-wide growth this quarter is a direct result of our colleagues' unwavering commitment to offering more health services to more people and connecting consumers with greater access to high-quality, affordable care. Antitrust Issues Recently, the dominant insurers stumbled over antitrust issues with US regulators when they wanted to annex data company Change Health, basically a payment processor to its stability. The government challenged this union and said that this would substantially lessen competition. The deal between United Health and Change Healthcare, nearly worth $8 billion, was announced in January 2021. It was a horizontal merger, as both companies handled processing and billing. The Department of Justice stated that this association would take United Health far too big and provide them with far more information about its competitors. Optum is targeting to grow as a banking system that can provide medical credit cards to its customers. This strategy may transform them into financial engineers, devoted to extracting instead of delivering care. When asked for comment, United Health Group told CNBC, Because we serve people throughout every aspect of the health system, we have a unique ability to identify opportunities to better integrate care and benefits, develop solutions and deploy them at scale to improve access, lower costs and make the experience better for patients and providers. It is insignificant that United is not seen engaging in anti-competitive behavior because it is not allowing other competitors to use its services. It's trying to expand its market share by servicing those other players. That virtuous cycle continues for the broader good of all. The Market Supremacy The humongous market share of United Health is because of the myriad of services they provide through their system, which may be vital or redundant for you. During the pandemic, they extended over 1.5 billion of additional customer support. Thus, United has left a deep imprint on the public about how committed they are to helping people live healthier lives and making the health system work better for everyone. Observing their market performance, analyst Steve Shubitz said, If they were just commercial insurance, this would not have been a very good quarter. It's really the diversification that's shining through. The organization is insulated from the recession hazards due to its wide establishment and mammoth market value. This makes investors and Wall Street analysis ecstatic about their stock. According to market analysts, United Health had a substantial performance over the years that can endure the current high interest rate environment. As far as the planning side is concerned, a hike in the interest rate is advantageous. The company has also benefited through inflation as they receive their premiums before they pay the doctors and they pay the hospitals. This is the secret to the unparalleled forward leap of United Health, leaving the biggest banks far behind. Interest rates have not been a headwind as they finance safe short term investments. In addition to its Medicaid business, United Health is the largest player in Medicare Advantage. It is not yet concluded if United Health is too big for the American economy. After all, the healthcare business and its beneficiaries are always a matter of dispute. The policy programs are causing Americans to die early and pay more than they should for care. The unfair competition among healthcare providers to take hold of market share may treat healthcare as a commodity rather than a right. It is also surprising to learn that 22 to 25 million Americans have no healthcare coverage and another 20 million have accessed inadequate policies. Do you feel like insurance companies have rigged our healthcare system? Comment down below and of course consider checking out our channel to suggest future video ideas and subscribing to see more economic dilemmas logically answered.